Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and I am continuing my series of favorite brands and products uh, that I've, I guess, kind of, I don't know that I've discovered it, but uh, again, they're not brands that have uh, supplied me with the products. I've actually just decided to do some on my own. So this is a favorite beverage brand, and you probably have heard of this brand. It's called Suja. They've been around for, I forget how many years, but I actually go back to knowing the uh, original um, owner, Eric Ethans, and I don't think he's part of the company anymore, but he used to have a restaurant. And then he partnered up with a, with a, a gal, uh, Annie, I think her name is Annie Lawless, and they started Suja. And they used to only be juices, and now they do um, kombucha, they do drinking vinegar, they do, uh, I think they do a plant milk, and they do others. They have a large a variety of so many different types of products, also with probiotics. And, oh, I will have a link below this video to their website, so you can check out all that they offer. So it's a really good quality brand. And I am a big fan of green juices. I have actually three of them here that I'm going to sample. So I'll talk to you about all three. Um, but just basically to tell you that they're all organic, cold-pressed, USDA organic, non-GMO project verified, high pressure certified, um, and let's see, these are vegetable and fruit juice, I believe all three of them are, let me see, all three of them are vegetable and fruit juice, and they come in a 12 ounce bottle, I believe some of their other products come in larger, and I think one of their juices, I don't know if it's the Uber Greens that I have here, they sell even in a larger bottle, um, let's see what else to tell you, they're also uh, kosher certified, um, I believe they're certified gluten-free. They're gluten-free, I know that. I don't know if it's certified. Um, there's no added sugars, no preservatives, and no added flavors. They're also vegan. So that is what's so awesome about it. Um, and then it says their juices are when they, they pick their favorite local fruits and veggies, pair them carefully, and chill them with cold pressure to keep their taste and nutrients fresh. So uh, it says shake it up, enjoy within five days of opening. So once you open it, enjoy it within five days. And people get confused, and I want to just clarify something about Best Buy dates. Uh, Best Buy dates is not necessarily the date when it's going to go bad. It's really the, the date that it's best to use it by for the optimum flavor, I guess. And since it is processed in a way, because it's made into a juice, you know, it maybe it loses some of its nutritional value. I can't say for sure about that part. It's just my take. But they don't go bad as fast as what the date says. But... I always still try to get the later date when I buy them, but that you have to just not be so concerned about that and people look at that. Uh, but they do need to be kept refrigerated or perishable. If you don't like your juices super cold, some people like them very cold, um, depends if it's a hot day, then you would, um, then you can take some out. And if you don't drink the whole thing, just take some out, put you want to drink and then put the rest back in the fridge, uh, in the bottle. Um, let's see what else to tell you, if there's anything else of the basically inf basic information on here otherwise I'm going to start talking to you about specific ones and I think I am going to do that right now so the first one I have so I have three different ones of their fruit and vegetable juice and they're very high in greens I love greens so if you're not getting enough greens then this is a good way to get them so this one is called their noon green spelled n-o-o-n and um, what they use in here is apple celery cucumber kale collard greens lemon ginger spinach Chlorella and spirulina. Um, and let's see if they tell you anything else here. I know on their old bottles they used to tell you how much of each ingredient they put in here, but on these new bottles they don't share that. I like I like having that information. But anyway, this is so you see it maybe a little more up close. You could see that. That's the bottle, and there's the back. It's got all the nutritional information. This is 100% juice. It only has 70 calories for eight ounces, and it has 1.5 ounce, 1.5 servings. Excuse me. And this one has got very good vitamin C, 8%, potassium 2, iron, doesn't have so much, um, no fat, very low sodium because they don't add sodium to it, and a little bit of protein. So basically it's for me to get my greens more so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this up like it says, shake it up, and then I have some little cups here. I'm going to open that up and try it. Now since I'm trying all three, I'm just going to have a little of each and um, ha then have them over the next five days. That's why I planned it that to do it this way. So... I'm going to have a, have a little cup here. I can just pour some in. And I took three different cups so that I don't mix the flavors, although it's okay. But I just figured I'll do it that way. So we'll start with that one. And I'm going to take a sip. Mmm. 
Mm. So for me, what stands out the most in here is the ginger. I mentioned this as ginger. I think I did. Yeah, and I love ginger. But I would even have more ginger for me personally. But when it's hot, maybe you don't want as much ginger. So, but that really, I can really taste the ginger that really comes out uh, most of anything. Oh, the fact that it has kale and collard, uh, spirulina is very good for you, spinach, chlorella, those are all really good. Um, and they don't list all the other, I mean, I guess maybe you don't have to on a label. There's a lot of other vitamins and minerals they're not listing that these, these, these products have. Um, so that's just, I guess, a choice. It does have an iron, 6% iron. So that is the first one. The second one I have is called their Mighty Dozen. And I guess it's maybe because there's a dozen ingredients in here. I'm not quite sure. But this is 97% juice because they also add um, other things in here. Maybe because of the barley grass. That's a powder. Um, the spirulina is a powder. The chlorella is a powder. That's probably why. So to tell you the ingredients in this one, this is only 50 calories. It's got vitamin A, 2%, vitamin C, 6 and 2% potassium. So this is apple, celery, cucumber, kale, collard, lemon, mint tea, ginger, spinach, spirulina, chlorella, and barley juice. So again, the ginger is the thing that I like the most. And then I'm going to shake this up. And i got another cup here. I probably could use the same, but I figured just so that I can taste it better as far as um, seeing the difference. Although there's not that much difference uh, if we compare the two, the noon and the, I think this has a little more ingredients. This one's got, so they all have apple, celery, cucumber, kale, collard, lemon, ginger, spinach, chlorella. Okay, so this one has barley grass. This one does not. And this one has mint tea and this one does not. So that's the difference. So the only two things that are different are the mint tea and the barley grass. Everything else is actually the same because it's actually a really nice combination. So um, that's the difference. So the one I'm trying now is the Mighty Dozen. So this one, I don't think I taste the ginger as strongly. I'm trying to figure out what I'm tasting. I'm not quite sure if it's more the apple now or the cucumber maybe. Mm, now I'm tasting the ginger a little more. So those two are very similar. I didn't realize that, but they're still good. And then the final one I have is called the Uber Greens. And this one's got cucumber, celery, grapefruit, so that's different. Green chard, that's different. Green, le green leaf lettuce, that's also different. Lemon, kale, spinach, uh, parsley, and mint tea. So the parsley is different. The green leaf lettuce, the chard, and the grapefruit. So those are the few that are different ingredients than the other. And this one is 99% juice. Um, potassium 2%, vitamin C 15, and they're all, that's for one serving. So, um, again, it's got, it's less juice because they add the teas to it, I believe, that's why. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to try the Uber Greens now, it's spelled U-B-E-R. i got one more cup over here. And again, they have many other flavors. You can, you know, if you like more fruity ones, I think they even do like a watermelon and different things. It's just, just up to you what you like. I, when I buy these, I prefer to get the, the ones with the most green in them because you don't always get enough green. So, yeah, I can taste right away. I taste, I think, the parsley. Much more subtle because it doesn't have any ginger. I think it's the parsley that sticks out in this one and the spinach too. Or maybe the chard. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's the chard. But anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you. Again, you probably know Suja. They're probably in every store you could think of. I don't know if they're international yet. But grocery stores, convenience stores, probably at gas stations, Target, wherever. I mean, probably everywhere, I don't think. But I don't know if they all have all the different varieties. So you want to look in your local store um, and see if they have them. I'm sure Whole Foods has them. Sprouts, if you have a Sprouts near you. There's many other stores out there, too. It depends on where you live. So, just to tell you again, the three different juices that I ch checked out today, tried, and uh, shared with you are the uh, uh, Suja. This is the Uber Greens. It's a vegetable and fruit juice, 12 ounces. I just didn't show you the other bottles. And then we have the um, Mighty Dozen. And then, finally, 
the noon greens. Now greens are in, so a lot of people maybe years ago didn't care for, you know, drinking green juices so much, maybe because of the color. But hey, green is really good. It's good for you. It's got a lot of nutritional benefits. So I hope you will check them out and try some for yourself. You won't be disappointed. You, if you have to get up, get past the uh, color, maybe just close your eyes and drink it because they are good. Maybe they're not sweet enough for you, but you could always add more sweetener if you like. I just like the way they are because they're pure and natural. So anyway, I hope you do check them out. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.